Governor Tim Walz was here for less than 24 hours, part of a West Coast campaign swing. Walls arrived at SEA Monday night and was given a warm welcome by Governor Jay Inslee and other Washington dignitaries. From there, he made his way to the W Hotel in downtown Seattle, where he stayed overnight. This morning, Walls attended a private fundraiser at a home in Hunts Point. King Pives cameras were not allowed inside the event, but did catch former Seahawks coach Pete Carroll in attendance. From the point of view of the campaign, it's probably the way that uh, at least the, the wealthy in Seattle can have uh, the biggest impact on the outcome of the election. Patrick Shatmer, a professor at Seattle University, says this type of quick stop is business as usual. Wanting to raise funds this close to the election usually means that they're wanting to either expand their reach by spending extra funds in states they hadn't been planning on, or they're concerned about uh, some of the states that they're running in right now and want extra resources to increase the amount of, of advertising and or to fund additional uh, voter mobilization efforts. According to the nonprofit research group OpenSecrets.org, the Harris campaign has raised $685 million and allied organizations organizations have raised an additional 336 million. The Trump campaign has raised 306 million so far and allied organizations have raised an additional 335 million. Tim Walls, Tim Walls, you can't hurt. We charge you with genocide. It wasn't completely smooth sailing for Walls. He was met with opposition from about a dozen protesters. Tim Walls didn't talk to us. He didn't come here to visit uh, the Boeing workers on strike. Nick Hill Lonberg is part of the International League of People's Struggle and says they're opposed to both parties. Neither party is serving uh, the people's interests and in that we have to fight for our interests. We reached out to the Harris Walls campaign multiple times for an interview but did not hear back. Walls is holding a campaign rally in the battleground state of Nevada this evening. In studio, Bridget Chavez, King 5 News.